talk amongst yourselves as it were. We're live. Should I be looking for me some? Let's have a look and see. Let's see if I can find myself. Um, yeah, no. Oh yeah. Rest. Here we are. Let's see. Oh, I need to turn the volume down. Let's see if I can find myself. And I'm upside down. Right, I'm just trying to get my feed of this up. There we are. Any comments? Not yet. Well, someone's watching us, so hello, whoever that someone is. Um, I need to crack on tonight because I've got quite a lot to cover. Hi, Miranda. Right, I'm I'm gonna start irrespective of um, who's on and who's not on. And the first thing that I want to show you is my existing junk journal, uh, which is pretty much finished now, to be honest. And you can see it's a big fat one. <laughs> it's got loads of goodies and yumminess inside it. Um, and this is the spine. It's got four four of these long dingly dangly beads um, hanging down and lots of ribbons and sari lace and whatever and the front's just been slightly more decorated um, the spine's all nicely done so it's it's pretty full now to be honest there's, there's not many pages left plain for journaling really so that's that I'll give that to you please thank you um, and tonight we're going to be doing this, but we're going to be doing it with the Edith Holden papers, the uh, Edwardian journal papers. I think I've got them all cut because I simply haven't got time to cut them um, when we're live. It's just too, it's too much. So, and I've also got a list of what to do in what order. Because <laughs> it's a bit like chess, this you need to do this before you do that. Um, just to remind you what we did last week, we did this little Edith Holden uh, pocket, fold out pocket journal with a little journal on the side and using some Edith Holden papers, uh, which I think turned out quite nicely. I quite like that. Now, for this, the, the junk journal this is going to go into is going to be different from the one I've just shown you because. That was just ridiculously fat. That was just stupidly fat. <laughs> so what I intend doing this time is using a hard back and um, front and then using ring binders um, and whatever fatness I get to, I can use the ring binders to um, keep the back and the front and then the middle can be as fat as it likes. So that's, um, when it comes to doing the front and back, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Uh, this one's going to go in a different junk journal, but we are going to do this but in Edith Holden papers. Right. Who have we got? Hello. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Shaz. Um, thanks for sharing, Shaz. If you can share to anywhere that you think is appropriate, um, please do so. It makes a huge difference. And, you know, I really, I really do appreciate it. It's lovely that we have this core band of people. I, I like that. You know, I like our little gang, as it were. Um, but it would be nice to reach new people and let them see what we're, what we're up to. And junk journaling is quite a fashionable thing to be doing at the moment. So I'm sure that people that would be interested. So if you can share, please do share. Um, that would be great. Right. So first thing to do is... Um, the back let's just take all this stuff out so you can see what exactly is going on right so there's a back there's there's a back there's a front there's a pocket on the back uh, this is a pocket on the front and this is a pocket on the pocket of the front so <laughs> where do we start that's such a good question right this I think I've had to make it a slightly different size because I couldn't get the right size out of the Edith Holden book so this is the front and the back um don't think it matters which is which I do need my 
um, ink pad and every piece that I put in I'll ink it as I go. This is uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink Antique Linen. I, I prefer the darker ones actually but I've run out at the moment so we've got Antique Linen. Um, it, it's, it's still quite a nice colour actually. Just gives that aged appearance which is what we're after. So all the way around it, any bit that's going here needs to be inked because otherwise we sew it and then we can't get to ink it and uh, you've got one piece that looks a bit strange. I really should have done this but I honestly did not have time. So if we say that's the back and this is the pocket that goes on the back, how pretty is that? That's very pretty isn't it? Um, so we just need to sew that on but before we do we need to put some lace along the top which strengthens it you know as well as looking pretty and i'm just going against what i just said to you there by not inking everything so easy to overlook that i'm, I'm going at 100 miles an hour tonight because i absolutely need to or this is not going to get finished but if you've got any questions ask away uh, if mr fix it sees them he'll tell me if not um I'll, I'll try and keep an eye on things. Right, lace. I've got all my laces here. I just need quite a narrow, quite a narrow one. That one's quite nice. That'll do. Put that along there. I've got my machine out and ready. You don't have to machine this at all. You can um, glue it. But I would recommend that you use a sort of Fabri-Tec glue, something like that. Um, not just a Pritt stick or something, so that won't be strong enough to hold the fabric. So this is just going along the top edge. It will look pretty and it will strengthen it. It's just a fairly narrow zigzag and I'm sewing everything in cream. Sewing cabinet up online. <laughs> oh, is it working? Yes. Shows your nails up. Oh, good. <laughs> I know they're getting on for two weeks old, that manicure. I've lost it well. That's because I haven't washed a dish. <laughs> <laughs> I have not washed a dish since I had my nails done. Right, so just uh, cut that off. Level with the ends like that, and then this is ready to sew on. Um, yeah, this is the right side, the side that's been inked. So, as long as you get it straight, really, that's the main thing. So I'm just going to reverse a little way, just for added strength, because it is the corner of a pocket. And, it, you know, there will be things in and out of it, but I don't want it ripping. You can glue this uh, perfectly easily um, and it, it's adequate for the job. I, I happen to like the look of the sewing, um, but that doesn't mean that you do. It's also, I think, a bit quicker because if you're using Fabri-Tac or something like that, you've got to wait for it to dry. It's not instantly dry, um, whereas with sewing, once you've done it, it's done. Karen says Mod Podge would work. Mod Podge? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it would. But again, you've got to wait for it to dry. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I, I don't think I could get through all of this tonight if I was using glue, to be honest. And you certainly don't want to mix the two if at all possible. Or you gum up your sewing machine. Yeah, don't glue it and then think, oh, I'll just... Um, sew that because 
you will glue up your sewing machine and that's not what you want to be doing right okay so that's the back uh, that's this part so we've got that done next thing we need to do is put some lace across the top of here I'll use the same lace and then we'll get a bit of continuity going on that bit there's a bit squished if I was if I was gluing it that'd be all right because I could glue the bottom but let's put it in there and the snippets and it'll be fine I'll get used at some stage so let's just put this uh, lace along the top Do I need to say hello to anyone? Google people. Debbie Broughton. Hello, Debbie. Oh, I used to live in Lincolnshire. I used to live in Ramsey. Sure, this is hi, Paula says hi. Hi, uh, hi, hi Paula. I love you. Maybe she's, she's getting comments today, so that's good. Oh, excellent. I don't know what was wrong with Facebook. I mean, whose idea was that to turn off that? Oh, oh, comments. Sorry, I thought you were talking about notifications. Sorry. Yeah, no, you've sussed it. So have I as well. I have too. Uh, thanks, Sharon, for sharing it. And thanks, Paula. I, I, I do appreciate it. Right, so that's the back now done. So let's move on to the front. Come on, go and whistle stop right here. Um, where is my front? <laughs> Obviously, it's here. Um, nice frontage. <laughs> that's the front. And I prefer the bit that says April, I think. So I then need the bottom pocket, <laughs> oh dear, which is that one, which is really lovely. I mean, it's violet. I don't know if you can see that too clearly, but it's really pretty. Um, so it's kind of the same situation. We put lace. I wondered where it was. It's underneath. We put lace on the top of here. We put lace on the back of there. But before we sew this on, we put this little pocket on as well so I might as well start really hadn't I with that pocket which I think I made slightly wider I'm gonna end up with some random pieces here probably but that don't fit <laughs> so as I say make sure that you ink everything um, it, sh it does show up better if you've got a Tim Holtz sepia or aged photo or tea bag or you know one of the browns that he does but um mine's run out so i'm just having to use what i've got so kind of make sure that that's where you want it to be actually i want it further down than that and i'm just sewing it onto the front pocket make sure i've got it where i want it which is about there i think Oh, now I've moved it. Where's my ruler? Get my ruler out. Here we are. A ruler and a pencil. Right, so that measures five inches, let's say. And that measures six and three quarters. That's so helpful, isn't it? Um, so that's one and three quarters. So that's what's half of one and three quarters? Uh, one and three eighths. No. Oh God. I'm going to have to do this by eye. Because one and three quarters, did you say? Yeah. That's half an inch. And three Plus eighths. Three eighths. Seven eighths. Seven eighths. Finally. Hallelujah. Which is about there, miraculously. Right, so I'm just going to put a line down there because I can uh, rub it out should I need to. But it's just to help me really position this until I get cracking sewing. So, right, that's fine. Once again, <coughs> it's a narrow zigzag, but I'm just going to reverse. Ah, forgot to sew the lace on. 
Oh, I forgot to put the ink around the other thing. This is what you get when you rush. It's just... Caroline comes as a little... Hi, Caroline. Thanks for joining me. If you make a mistake like this, don't be tempted to pull the threads because what will happen is you'll pull a hole in your paper. Um, <clears throat> that's not what you want at all. Um, let's just use the lace that we were using. Let's keep a bit of continuity. Right, this is the right way up and I know that because it's got a number, a page number on it. Get rid of those. So like I say, I'm just going to reverse for a little bit. Go forward and just hold it in place. This lace that I'm using is a, a, like a cotton crochet lace and it's it's really easy to sew. It doesn't want to move on its own. Okay. That's better. Trim it off flush um, with the sides. Uh, let's ink this before we go any further, otherwise I'll forget. As pale as this ink is, it definitely does make a difference. And actually the book that I'm using is not in its first flush of youth, so it's um, the pages are slightly yellowed anyway. So it does look a bit... I'm just going to put the lace along the top of here. So it'll be easier than when I've got the um, the pocket on. So same procedure. Exactly the same. Your needle will get blunt much more often than when you uh, just sew on fabric so when you hear it starting to sort of pop you hear a sort of poppy noise and that's your needle punching its way through the paper rather than uh, going sharply through it so that's when you need to change your needle really So much to show you tonight. I really hope that I get time to get everything in. Right. So now let's sew this on. I think we're a few steps ahead of myself before. If some of you would have a go at junk journaling, it's it's really really nice. I really enjoy doing it. The only problem that I have is it it's so messy. By the time you've got all your lace out and all your papers out and your guillotine and your glue and whatever, honestly, it just drives you mad. I still want that end of the lace to flop up. Right. 
So that should be our front pocket done. Okay, um, and this is the back of the front pocket, um, in fact the front, but I've chosen to use text in this case because we've got these two books that go in there and you actually can't see very much of this so I don't want to kind of waste one of my really good uh, pictures on it so we've got text. So what's everyone saying? Uh, how many new glasses? Yeah they're all right that they're, they're they're okay took a little bit of getting used to actually all my life show an hour later than they start that's bizarre it's just you shells it's just you you live in an alternative universe um right i see that i see that sorry no chance for me even after I've stripped my walls. No chance of you making a junk journal. Well, I can't expect you to do everything, Olivia. I'm mean, very good at trying things. I'm putting ink all the way around this and actually there's no earthly need, but um, never mind. It's better to put to ink too much of it than none. So that's fine. This goes on here, but at the same time, we can also put the back on. Hello, here we are. Right, so that goes on to there. <sighs> Calm down. Yeah, that goes on to there. We've got the pocket, so I don't need anything else on there. No. This is the front. I don't need anything else on. Oh yeah, I need some lace on the top. I could put it all on in one go, but it's asking a bit much of myself. <laughs> so I'll put the lace on there now. See, if we're waiting for all this glue to, you know, if we were gluing this and waiting for it all to dry, there'd be a lot of nothing going on. So let's get these all lined up. That's the front. No, that's the front. No, that's the front. Hooray! <laughs> and the reason that you do all this is for that reason. Because if that, if I was just sewing that onto there, then you'd see the back of that stitching and it looks uh, untidy so that's why you do you know you do it in these stages so everything's inked yeah so let's sew it all together then exciting moment let's just make sure we're all right there same thing a bit of reversing and down there and keep checking that you've got it straight it's exactly where you want it and then you've got the added interest of putting that pocket on and making sure it's exactly straight too
So as I say, I've got this on a zigzag, um, but it's not the widest zigzag, but it's a long way off the narrowest too. So I might just have to have a bit of a play around and see um, the width that you want. Leave the needle down when you get to a corner, it's not on machines do that. We can wind it down by hand. You can. Let's just check that we're straight. I think we're doing alright, really. Even if you wanted to sew this, it's maybe a good idea if you want to glue this bit because there's a lot of things to kind of hold together and make sure you get square and straight and I see that even with my best intentions that isn't exactly square but it's not far off This is a solid thing. We're actually going around all four corners, all, all four edges of this. Um, there's no no gap in the middle. You could, if you wanted to, leave that open and it could be an additional pocket, um, but I decided not to. So it's sewn all the way around. Angie, hello Angie. Jacqueline, hello Jacqueline, thank you. You guys, if you can share, please, um, you know, to somewhere appropriate, that would be excellent. I would appreciate it. If you if you can't or you don't want to, that's equally fine. Um, just help me a little bit. Right, so the next thing that we need are the books that go in the front. Uh, and there are two of these, and I've cut them out somewhere. Which I think are those. My guillotine's a bit blunt, and you see it leaves tags everywhere. Which I don't really like, but when you sew, they get sort of taken into the seam. So these are the... The front, the front and back, that part of our book, and then the inside bit. Actually, they might be the inside bit. I think this might be the outside. That's the outside. That's the inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's prettier, I think. Four maids of February. Well, it's going to be in half, but it'll be okay, I think. Right, so they need to be sewn together. Inked, inked. Let's ink them. Oh, it's hard to keep remembering to ink everything. It's hard to remember everything. It's taken me ages to prep for this. <laughs> ink or you stink. Ink or you stink. Hi, Louise. Thank you very much for joining. You guys, if you can share, I would so appreciate it. And we need to do the inside as well because it will be visible. Okay, so that's that. So we just need to go um, actually around three edges, a long, a short, and a long, and then we'll do, we'll leave the, which one's going to be the front? This is going to be the front here. So I'm going to leave this right hand edge. And so 
the bottom, the left hand edge and the top and then we'll put some lace on down there. So a bit of reverse. Let's try and get it, get it square. I'm not exactly certain I've cut this dead square. I was in a bit of a rush. This is why I like sewing. It's just quick and I, I actually really, really like the effect. Uh, but I do appreciate that you haven't all got sewing machines and that's fine because you can glue it equally as well. It's fine to glue it. So let's do, uh, oh, we haven't inked this one. Yeah, the paper is fantastic. It's from um, the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady book. Um, this book here. And I mean, the, the pictures in it, her watercolours, look at them. Just, I mean, that was just at random. They are absolutely beautiful. They really are. But they are copyright and you can't copy them and use them. So you have to use them out of the book itself, which means that every time you want to do a you know a journal or I mean I'll get more than one journal out of the book but you have to actually use um, the book you can't photocopy it and use those prints and I don't want to be hauled up on copyright law I do sell stuff on Etsy so it's visible to the world not that I'm advocating breaking the copyright law if you're not right that's that then so we're making this side the outside so same again, leave the right hand side open. job it's easier if you just cut the ends off as you go then they're done right so this now needs to be folded in half um, pretty neatly if you can manage it I don't know where my bone folder is out there. Sorry. Don't forget the lace. Yeah. Oh yeah. I nearly did forget the lace. We'll just fold this soon as we've got it down like this. So I'm using a, a well, it's a bone folder. It's made of plastic, um, but it's a bone folder. And just ink the edges of that fold. Right, let's put the lace on. Thank goodness for Mr. Fixer, or I'd forget. I'm going to use the same lace. I used Rick Crack on, on the one I did. But I think it'll it's going to look prettier with, um, with lace on it. And I'm going to make it pointing outwards as opposed to um, pointing in, which the other ones have been. Oops. 
just make sure you've got enough you can always snip the excess off thinking I should have done this before I sold the back and the front together but Yeah, if I'd done that before I stuck this piece on, you wouldn't see that line of sewing. But, you know, it's not it's not the end of the world. But if you're making one yourself, then bear that in mind. Um, that it's a good idea to sew it on first. Hide the stitches. Right, there's just a little, little bit there that's going to annoy me. Lovely. Right, so that's that. So this needs the lace put on as well. And once again, we've already sewn the back on, so it's going to be visible. So I just, I'm just going to have to live with that. <laughs> it swings and roundabouts, though, because if you'd have sewn that on first, you'd have to have two lots of sewing through your, yeah. your ribbon. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. It swings and roundabouts. I guess. It's probably better on the inside than on the outside. Thank you to everyone who's watching with me I, I really appreciate um, your time and thank you to everyone from the gang who's joining who's joined us it's nice to have you with us right so this one um, gets folded in exactly the same way using um, my plastic bone folder like so there's nothing stopping you, if you wanted to, to um, you know, put something on the front of here, a word, uh, some inspirational word, dream, believe, desire, whatever it might be. I'm just not big into that sort of thing. Um, I don't like it. I find it a bit too much for, for, for me. So, But you know, it would look pretty. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll grant you that. So what we need now is the pages for our little books which I've cut out already um, and I think I've got possibly rather too many three four I think four is enough for one book I think even actually three I mean it's a journal so people need journaling space but I don't think they're going to be writing blinking an epistle so I think three is enough I'm going to put that rough cut Tone in fact, bit to the bottom, and then you need to. Well, three becomes six pages, of course. Yeah, three will become six. Didn't blinking somebody Spice Girls have a have a song called something like that? <laughs> I don't know, mind you. Two uh, become one, maybe. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's it. That's the fella. You might find it easier if you actually fold these uh, independently. I do. I find it easier. These uh, papers have been coffee stained. And uh, actually, I just got a whiff of it then. Yeah. These need to be inked around as well. Oh, joy. To fold them as accurately as you can. Like so. And uh, yeah, let's just quickly whiz around these with the ink. You needn't do that part. It's hidden. 
what you have got to do the rest of them. What time is it? 22. Oh boy, I really need to get a wriggle on. Right, so that's one. Might just show you how to do one book. The other one's identical in any case. But I did want to show you the whole thing finished. Um, maybe inside. I know I've got tags to do, safety pins. Yes. What are we doing for the next one? So yes. That would be excellent. Let me just do this this one. It's everything but the folded edge. Yeah. Both sides. Yeah. Yeah, I use coffee to stain my paper. I find you get a better um, colour with it. Uh, some people use tea and others use uh, a mixture of both, tea and coffee. There you go. And you need three pieces of paper, which are those ones. Thank you very much. So these are all um, scored in half. And get them lined up. You will find when you put these together that the inside ones begin to creep out. Um, so you can cut that off so it's nice and square, which then means I'm, I'm cutting my ink edge off, so I might have to revisit that. There we are. Right, then find a centre and I'm going to sew this on with a straight stitch and it go, make sure you've got it right in the middle, pushed in as far as it can go and hold it down. And so reversing to start with. Then you follow the crease, then you should be all right. Let's trim the ends off before we fold it in half and see if we're right or wrong. pretty darn good. That's lovely. So that goes in our pocket here, like so. It's beginning to look quite pretty now, isn't it? I think. I think you will agree. So the other one is coming up. Um, and apart from that, we need, well, the tag that goes in the back, this one, it's quite a large tag. I've cut it, the new one, so it's just a bit lower down than that. Um, so let's see if, I think it was this. And what I'm going to do for this is, for all the tags, because this hasn't got really any journaling space. You could write on that, but it's, it's pink. It's not obviously journaling space. So what I'm going to do is I've got a, this is just copier paper that's been coffee stained. So I'm going to stick my tags onto the uh, copier paper, wherever the other two are, these two. So these are the, the front ones that go in our longer pocket. Um, and this is the big back pocket one. Let me just check that I've now used <laughs> everything. Yes, I have. So all I'm going to do is use Pritt stick. Um, go around there. It's 
stick it onto the plain paper, which will become obviously journaling paper. Can I borrow the um, bone thingy, please? Oh, well done, speedy. Thank you. Um, so yeah, just make sure you push it down. We will be sewing it, but um, doesn't matter at this stage whether the right way up, wrong way up, or any way up at all. Same with this one. This has got the daffodils on which match everything else. So I think I'll make I think I'll make that the right side. Get through an awful lot of prit stick doing this, I'll tell you. Okay, so then we just cut round. Before you do, you can mark the uh, corners in if you want to. Um, where's halfway? What does that measure? Some other obscure blinking thing. So in that case, then I'm going to come in an inch to there. In an inch to there. And then down an inch and a half, perhaps, or, or an inch inch and a half I'd say probably look a bit more balanced to there inch and a half down there and just draw your lines and then you you know where you where you're aiming for with your scissors because these are tags and there is a difference between tags and journaling cards. Tags have got this um, this shape, it's not quite right. uh, whereas journaling cards are just square. Like as if it matters, but it does to some people. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just so you know, these are um, tags. So I'm coming down here an inch and a quarter. there let's do them all and then they're both the same inch and a quarter inch and a quarter coming three quarters of an inch because I don't want it being too narrow that bit on the top and same thing just draw draw your line Right, so now we can cut those out and they will have um, journaling paper now, um, what, you know, what, what we're calling journaling paper on the back and you've got the perfect shape to cut round um, because it's stuck onto the paper. If you can see the pencil marks, just rub them out. Just pencil. Oh, 
And there's nothing really that fancy about these tags. I haven't really, you know, gone overboard with decorating them. Um, because there's quite a lot of lace and stuff on the journal already. Not that I'm one that ever says enough is enough. I do like a bit of over the topness. But they've all got to fit in the pocket at the end of the day. I'm doing this, you know, as you know, with Edith Holden paper, um, which is quite an expensive way of doing this. It makes the junk journal quite expensive. But you don't have to. I mean, you can use any cardstock that you've got at all. And I bet you most of us that watch this have got some cardstock left from, you know, past projects, let's say. Right, so here we are. Let's make the other book up. Um, here it is. It just needs the pages put in, which are here. So let's just put those inside each other and see if we need to chop some off. So make sure you've got them all pushed in as much as you can. And you just do get, you know, sort of the thickness of the paper, if you like, pushes them out a little bit. So just square it up, because otherwise it looks pretty amateurish. And I'm still on straight. That's good. So you pop them in there. That's definitely the right way up. Yep. Take it to the machine. Find a centre. Push it in as best you can, right into the centre. Straight down that seam bound crease, even. So that's the other one that goes in there. So we've got two pretty books in there now. Um, so these, which are now uh, have the journaling space on the back, but we need to. Actually, I haven't sewn round these, uh, which surprises me. I have sewn round that one, but I did put a pocket on that. Uh, no, actually, it's, I've just stuck a picture on. That's that's right. Well, I'm not going to stick a picture on this because this is the picture and it's beautiful. It's a um, little chaffinch. So I am going to sew around them um, just to be in keeping with the rest of the of the journal. And on this one, I'm just going to sew a little lace tag on the top so it's obvious that it's there. Should have inked this. I'll ink it after I've sewn it. Now it's, it would have been better 
prior to sewing, but you know, can't remember everything. Something would be nice. <laughs> I actually quite like this colour ink pad on this paper. It's not so not so dark because as I say the paper itself is quite yellowed. And you will be seeing the back so it needs to be inked as well. Gonna have a little tag on the top made of lace just so you can just pull it out. That's great. So that's a journaling space now. I've got this lovely chaff inch, I mean it's gorgeous. Um, and you see on this one that I made I put a just a little lace tag on it, which I fully intend to do with this one if I can find the lace I can do. How can that have disappeared? I do not know. Oh, this must be it. Right, so it, 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 it literally is just a little tag. It's just cut a couple inches off. How's everybody doing anyway? Paula, you've set yourself a mammoth amount to get through tonight. You are right. You're right, girl. Uh, loving these, Fiona. Go, oh, thanks, Angie. That's nice. And Shaz, thank you. Where did you learn to make a journal? I suspect YouTube was involved. Yeah. YouTube. <laughs> I spend huge swathes of my life on YouTube. It is amazing what you can learn on YouTube. Um, and you find somebody that you like and, you know, you sort of watch them to death and then you find somebody else and you're picking up bits all the time, you know, between um, this one and that one. And then th there's your own artistic input into it. And like I say, I am a bit of a one for over-the-topness. So I tend to take ideas from people um, and then jazz them up to the end, really. Um, but a lot of a lot of this inspiration, not really this one, but came from a lady called G Kerr, G-I-C-K-E-R-R. And she does just amazingly beautiful work. Well worth an evening of your life. So that just fits into the, the, the back of our journal. Little journaling card, little um, tag in there. Like so. I could put a button on it or something actually. Might look quite nice. Because you can't actually see the chaffinch till he's all the way out. But however, it's a nice surprise when you do. And these two go in here. But they're rather oversized, I feel. I think I've cut these the wrong size. They're, they're kind of large, aren't they? Um, I don't know whether... I need to cut them down. I can't live with them. They're too large. Um... Let's just cut it about, is that the way you do it? Yeah, let's just cut about half an inch off and see where we are then. Um, is that one inch? Yeah, I don't know how you get to half an inch then. I seem, I seem to have run out of room. That must be half an inch there. And this is a fedaddle. Turn it round. No, and I'll give you paper. Yeah. And put it in from the other way. Yeah. Put it, push it to the edge. Yeah. And then you'll see how long it is and then move it up half inch. It's an odd measurement. I'll chop it off with my scissors, is what I shall do. I've never really got to grips with a guillotine, if I'm honest. So I'm going to chop this off about half an inch and I'm going to do the same for the other one I 
excellent now I just need to bring this in a little bit say to there as a guess oh that's gonna knock that out of whack is it oh no no it'll be all right how far down did we go with that what a kerfuffle over nothing inch and a quarter so if i go to an inch and a quarter that's there what help is that to me oh yeah that would be there is that right that's not right where's my rubber I think I might just have to cut these where I want them. <laughs> My mathematical genius is, is letting me down. Actually, that's not anything like square. Neither is that. Right, so let's just cut that off there. And about the same the other side. That's not what you'd call square. Right, okay. I might have to make those slightly longer at the top because they'll annoy me else. Right, so let's do the same for this one. I haven't got any words on this uh, picture, so it doesn't really matter. Did you all see my finished junk journal at the start? I'll show you it again, I think, before I go, because I'm so pleased with it. It's so pretty. Right, that's that's something like, maybe not perfect. Yeah, they look better, don't they? They definitely look better. They were kind of oversized before. Right, so the only thing that remains is to ink these. And then um, I've just put a little dingly dangly on here. Um, it's it's pretty. It's just a little drawing pin, a safety paper clip. But actually, what I'm going to do is show you something different that's even nicer. And then that's it. We're done. Yeah, YouTube is a font of knowledge. I, you know, I can't think of a subject that you want to know about that you won't be able to find out about in on YouTube. Um, this is here. It is this is my um, decorated paper clip. And it's a paper clip. Come on, could we zoom in a little bit? Do you think we seem to be a long way away tonight? Uh, I will, but I'll lose. It doesn't matter. I'm not sewing anymore. You'd have to move it further forward. Okay. To give me a chance. Yeah, that's that's better. Yeah, so here's our thing and here's our decorated um, paper clip and it just slides on there. In this instance, it isn't actually keeping anything on. It's just purely decoration. But you can use them at the top of pages and tuck things under them or behind them or whatever. And they look really, really nice. And all they are is a paper clip. So that's just there to decorate. Oh, OK. So I'll, sh I'll just show you how to um, make those paper clips and then I'll show you my journal, my finished one. Okay. We try to film in really high quality and if we zoom in too much it um, doesn't like it. <laughs> So there we are. So what we need now is the paper clip for the other side to make it look as pretty. 
So what you do is you just get a piece of um, waste paper that sort of size, tear it in half, get your paper clip and put the long bit on the back. The long bit goes to the back like that. And I've just used a bit of waste from here. Um, and then on the on the front bit, it's just snippets. It's snippets of stuff. Um, so I've got this, but I don't really want the gathered the gathered bit. So I'll just use a bit of that. I'll get two out of that one. Um, and you just really lay them on. There's no kind of right and wrong way. It is just snippets of stuff. Um, what else have I got snippets of? I tend to just chuck all my snippets in my lace box. Um, just need one more little bit of something. I might just use a little bit, a bit more of that. So that's it. It's, it's no more complicated than that. Um, and then you just, you can glue them, of course you can glue them, or you can just whiz down on the machine. And just kind of keep them in place. If you've got sari silk or anything like that, you can use that and rush it up as you go so you get more fullness, if you like. Um, or organza or anything like that that you can kind of ruche as you're uh, as you're sewing you get gathers on it and it'll look really pretty um but i haven't got any to hand at the moment right so that's that that's the front um we've got the back which is the long it's the long bit that's the back and then you have to glue these together there's kind of no way around this um I can't sew them because of the pin. So I'm using tacky glue here. Um, use what you've got, you know, what you usually use for your crafting. And then keeping the long bit outside, stick that over there. And then you've got um, a snippet paper clip that just goes over there like that and decorates it and makes it look really pretty. So I can't uh, put that on yet because it's, it's kind of tacky tacky. So that goes in there and then I think, by golly, I think we've got there. This has been like Fiona on Duracell batteries tonight, I know, and I'm absolutely just about drained. I'm interested in how she's going to wind down. I'm going to eat. That always kind of slows me down. Could you pass me my junk journal, please? I'm just going to show it. I did show this at the beginning, I know, and I'm sorry if you uh, saw it at the beginning. I'm kind of, uh, I just really want you to see it. This um, is it. Look at it. Look at that yummy, 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 yummy goodness. goodness. This is the front. It's... My bum's getting numb. Uh, it's got, you know, ribbons and stuff everywhere. And this is the side, the spine. Let's see if you can see that. It's got four lots of these um, beads on it that dangle down and then it's got lace and other stuff and this is sari silk and ribbon and what have you and I've put little um, sort of charms I guess they are that one's a little butterfly this has got a key this one's got a key at the bottom um, this one's got a starfish for no reason it's just that I happen to have a starfish um, and this one's got a gorgeous really heavy a bead at the bottom so that's the side which looks stunning I love it and then inside you've you've seen most of it so I'll really really quickly whiz through I think there might be a couple of pages that I still need to put something on but it is a junk journal people are supposed to be journaling in here so these are these are pretty these are just 
um, pieces of paper that have been coffee stained um, and then I've decoupaged them, put gesso, gesso on them just to um, dull it down a little bit, uh, stamp them with text first um, and then you just fold, ink them up, fold them up, put them in your journal and tie it with uh, a nice ribbon and they look nice on the page. Um, that's just journaling space, plenty of journaling space. Um, and that's decoupaged on as well, but doesn't it look pretty? Um, this is a little book that I made out of a, this was a note card. And I just added some paper to the inside, some lace, etc. down there. A little pocket on the bottom to hold it. Uh, I've done some stamping. It, actually, it wasn't very successful because this book is so thick. What I really needed to do was hold something behind it as I stamped it. Um, but I kind of like it, the fact it's, you know, it's a shabby thing anyway. Um, these, these are these little pins that I've just been showing you. Um, the little paper clip pins, which look really nice in the journal. And these are just journaling pages with a little bit of decoupage on. Fold out, complete journal page there. You just tuck it up there and put your... Um, scrappy paper clip on holds it there perfectly and looks pretty what more can you ask for this is a nice thing this does need two more of my uh, snippet paper clips on it's paper clipped and it's held over the over there and on the back it's got a pocket it's actually also got two little um, tags in it with bows on the top um, it's got a pocket there it's got a little book booklet in there for journaling uh, and two tags here on the front with little ephemera stuck stuck in them so I must remember to put those um, to make some snippet paper clips and put them on there because they look much better than those don't they once again I've put some beads and stuff in because I just I just love them um, little pocket, the three envelope thing, which you've definitely seen. Another one of those journaling pages. And another one of those uh, whole page decoupage for that very, very pretty rose. Um, another decoupage page, another journaling page with a pretty shabby clip. Um, I have left some pages for journaling because that's what it's for. Um, this is a napkin. Um, one of my favourite napkins I've ever had, actually. Uh, decoupaged on and a bit of gesso. Uh, this is just a plain journaling page, but I've just put some lace and some ribbon down it. Another one of those pages. Um, this is just a little pocket that goes over the top. Uh, once again, I need some little uh, snippy paper clips there. Uh, snippy Paula. <laughs> um, an envelope with some paper in it. And this has just got a bit of newspaper and a little bit of decoupage just to jolly it up a little bit. Some lace down there, decoupage, decoupage and journaling space, lace and some bling. Same there, decoupage. And then that's just a pocket there with a stamp on it and a bit of journaling paper in there, a bit of lace and ribbon. And then right at the end we've got this, which is... Um, um, a pocket here with a little card in it, a journaling card, and the whole thing flips completely over and there's the back of it there. Tuck that journaling card in. So this has got a, a card that pulls out this way. We have bling belly band there with a label through it and that's it that is the entire journal uh i haven't sold it yet i've no idea who's going to buy it but i'm quite envious of them really i really love it it's taken a lot of my time to do it uh, and it's right up my street i absolutely love this sort of thing so guys thank you very very much for joining me I think we've made quite a good job of this in the time we had. I'm really pleased I had all the pieces of paper cut in preparation. Well, nearly all of them. Um, so there's just the, that's dry now, there's just that snippet uh, paper clip to go on there. And that goes in there. Um, 
and put that out of the front and look prettier I think and there we are job done so that's ready to go into my Edith Holden journal I mean that back's really pretty as well wasn't it right so I shall see you next Thursday at six o'clock UK time I hope that you've managed to uh, get the gist of what I've been doing if you if you do want to do this and you're not understanding what I'm saying uh, comment below or PM me or whatever um, and I'll go through it with you but basically uh, that's it so we're building towards our Edith Holden junk journal I'll see you next Thursday at six o'clock UK time when we'll do some more all right thank you very very much for joining me bye guys bye <laughs>